Assalamu alaikum, girls and boys. Peace be upon you, moms and dads. I'm Sister Fran, and I've brought along a friend of mine to help me tell this next tale. This is Giraffe, and he has lovely long neck and mane on the back of his head and neck, and he also has two horns on the top of his head. What would be a good name for this giraffe? Can you call it out to me? Oh, I'd like that one. Oh, that's a very good name. Oh, let's go with that one. Jabber. Jabber the giraffe. Perfect. Well, did you know that there was a giraffe that sailed with the prophet Noah? Peace and blessings be upon him. All those years ago, hundreds of years ago in the ark. It's true. Have you ever heard the story? Well, find someone to cuddle up with. And together, we're going to enjoy the story of the prophet Noah and see if you can find Jabber and his friend Jamila the giraffe in the illustrations that accompany the story. A long, long time ago, Allah created the first man and woman, prophet Adam, peace be upon him, and Eve. They had children, and when their children grew up, they had children. But soon the children of Adam began to stray to the wrong path. This displeased Allah, so he sent the prophet Noah, peace and blessings be upon him, to his erring people to guide them to the right path. Noah went to the people to give them the message of Allah, he spoke to them in public and preached to them in private. After years of hardship and struggle, only a handful of poor people listened to his call. Each time he urged them to ask for Allah's pardon, they would thrust their fingers in their ears and draw their cloaks over their heads. At last, Noah warned his people of an approaching flood, hoping that that would persuade them to win Allah's favor. But the people turned against him and tried to kill him. In great distress, Noah prayed to his Lord, Oh, help me, Lord. I am overcome. Allah then ordered him to build an ark under his watchful eyes. After a very long period of hard, tiring work, the ark was finally ready. Then Noah said, Embark in the name of Allah. It shall set sail and cast anchor. My Lord is forgiving and merciful. Allah then asked Noah to take aboard with him a pair of every living creature, along with his faithful believers. No sooner had they all come on board than the rain began to fall. More and more rain fell each day. The rivers overflowed and water fell in torrents. The ark rose and fell on mountainous waves, but when the flood had reached its peak, Allah commanded the sky to hold back the rain. The clouds began to part, and the rain stopped. And as the level of the water began to go down, the mountain peaks began to reappear. The ark came to rest on a mountain in a land now known as Turkey. The prophet Noah and his companions thanked Allah for saving them from such a devastating flood. Everyone happily came out of the ark the animals were led to safety. Noah prayed, Lord, let my landing from this ark be blessed, for you alone can make me land in safety. <laughs>